praise you Jesus glory to God he is a worthy God today hallelujah even though I don't like to preach the Bible has called us to preach hallelujah each and every one of us not just me I'm gonna try to share an encouraging word today hallelujah God is a good God praise you Jesus how many of you know the enemy has an expectation. The enemy's expectation for us is to steal our families, our jobs, our joy, our money, our life. See, God has an expectation for us, but the enemy has one too. Hallelujah. The enemy wants to lower your expectation. He does it all week long. He does it all year long. But the word says, I have come that you may have life, hallelujah, and have it more abundantly. See, we have to be extremely careful about carrying this attitude when it comes to our faith. I believe that one of the enemy's primary strategies is to instill an attitude, not in the worldly people, listen to me, into many of the followers of Jesus. It's talking about us this morning as Christians. Hallelujah. As many as possible. He wants to lower our expectations. Why? Because the result of such an attitude becomes lethargic and is a lack of zeal and a hardened heart and just plain lukewarmness. Everybody knows what the Bible says about being lukewarm, right? So time is short, people. I know they've been saying Jesus is coming for many, many years. But time is short. We cannot afford to lower our expectations. If you do have low expectations this morning, I'm here to tell you get over it. God expects great things from his people. From his church. That's us. All of us. See, when we point, uh, there's more fingers coming to me than to you when I point. He's talking about me and you today. He has great expectations for us. So if it follows that we have no right to have low expectations of ourselves, don't succumb to a low expectation mindset. It's up here. It is what the enemy wants, and it will ruin our effectiveness for God. God has something for us to do. But if we have low expectations today... We can't do it. God chose us to live by his word. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to give you an encouraging word today. Let's pray. Lord, I can do nothing without you. Hallelujah. I desire today and your people desire to touch the hem of your garment. So I pray right now, Lord, that you reach out to us, Lord, through your word. Because your word is alive. We receive and we believe today, Lord, that we will hear and feel your presence. Let me decrease now, Lord, and let you increase. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I named my little encouragement word today is we are chosen to live by the word. We are chosen to live by the word. God wants us to encourage each other. Go to Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. We know these scriptures already, but I'm just here to encourage you this morning. The blessing of God. Proverbs 3, 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Glory to God. This is one of my favorite verses when I got saved. Trust in the Lord, because guess what? I trusted nobody growing up as a kid. I didn't trust anybody. I believed everybody was out to hurt me. So when I found this verse, I grabbed this verse, and I said, I'm going to walk with this verse all day long, and I'm going to trust in God, see what he's going to do. And let me tell you, God gave me a high expectation when I had no expectations. Hallelujah. God wants to encourage us today by his word. See, God's chosen people, 
like you and me today. God's word is saying, don't try to understand. That's what this verse is saying, what you're going through. Just trust me. God just wants you to trust him today. See, I got this when I got saved. He said, I don't, you, I, I know you went through this. I know you were abused. I know people ridiculed you. I know you had a terrible childhood. But trust me. Trust me. He said, I got this. God said, I got this. I got you. He's got your back today. See, our own understanding is shallow. It doesn't compare to God's understanding. God's understanding is faith. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Pastor has been preaching Hebrews 11, I think a series for I don't know how long. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We've been hearing it again and again and again. We know that by heart. Hallelujah. Who needs encouraging today? I know I do. That's all I want to do is encourage you with the word of God. See, I've been hurt and I've been around people that have been hurt. I've been hurt by people. We live in a world of rude, selfish, obnoxious, all of these things, and then some. Okay? People who are constantly hurting us. You know you can think of some other words that as Christians we can't use. But th there's people out there that really go out of their way to hurt you. Okay? But listen to me. God is saying, don't try to understand it. Don't try to understand the mess. Don't try to understand the people that don't love me. Just trust me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. This is my number one point. Trust in the Lord. He's just saying, trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Trust. Hallelujah. Glory. I'm going to go to number two is Galatians 6, 9. Galatians 6, 9. Hallelujah. Worthy to be praised, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Galatians 6, 9 says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Hallelujah. If we faint not. The Bible is telling us don't be weary when you're trusting God. Hallelujah. For in due season we shall reap. He said trust in the Lord and don't faint. That's all he's saying. Yeah. Trust me. Don't get tired. Yeah. Keep doing what God tells you to do. Hallelujah. Not what your friends tell you to do. Yeah. Not what you want to do. Yeah. I want to do this, God. No. Yeah. Not what that religious spirit, hallelujah, wants you to do. Some people just doing what the religious thing is to do. That's not what God wants. Come on. Hallelujah. Everybody knows what the, those spirits are. The enemy has an expectation, people, to ruin you. He'll try to trip you up with a good thing. Everybody listening to me? He'll try to trip you up with a good thing. It looks awful good, right? But God said, I want not a good thing. I want the right thing. Hallelujah. Trust me. Have you been listening to pastor again? Faith, 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 faith. He spoke about the elders obtaining a good report. How's your report today? Are you obtaining a good report? Are you obtaining a good report today? We are chosen to live by the word. That means our character, everything that we do, our walk, our talk should be as like Christ-like. So if the elders obtain a good report, I'm going to go by what they did. Because it says there, this is how it's done, through faith. We are chosen to live by the word. The solution to all our issues are covered by faith. That one simple word, if you, everything that comes under that word is covered. God has our back through his word. Hallelujah. This word speaks of healing prosperity, yes. deliverance, yes. you name it. Yes. It's in this word. Yes. It's in this word. Yes. I suggest that if you're not reading enough of this word, you start taking action and reading it yes. because we are chosen to live by this word. Hallelujah. 
Does anybody here want to please God? Amen. I want to please God today. Hallelujah. Again, he talked, the pastor's been talking about Enoch in the Bible. In Hebrews 11, 3, it says that through faith, um, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Enoch, a man, it says he was, the word speaks about him being pleasing to God. Are we being pleasing to God? If we're being pleasing to God, we're doing the word. If we're chosen of God, we're doing the word. We're living the word. We're walking the word. We're talking the word. We're not doing what other people are doing. Hallelujah. The Bible says there that in Hebrews 11, 3, that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Come on now. I'm not preaching faith, but it has a lot to do with what I'm preaching today. I just want to encourage you this morning to trust in the Lord. Do not faint. Number one was trust in the Lord. Number two is do not faint. The last point is in Philippians 4, 6. If you'll go there with me. Because you got to see this. It's in the word. If you have, if you have a Bible, you got to see this. It's in the word. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While you're trusting the Lord, be not weary. And last but not least, don't be anxious. We want to get there quick, 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 quick. Sometimes it takes long. It doesn't happen overnight. The Bible says here in 4, 6, be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. And then it says that the peace, I said the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Am I encouraging you yet? Because last night I needed some encouraging. And as I was going through my sermon, I was being encouraged. And I said, God, you want to encourage me to continue to trust you. You want to encourage me to continue not to faint because I'm so tired. And you want to encourage me not to be anxious. And I'm here to tell you today that God wants to encourage you. To continue to trust. Don't give up. And don't be anxious because your blessing is coming. Hallelujah. He will give you peace. He will keep you from going crazy. I don't know about you, but sometimes I think I'm just going to go mad. I said, Lord, I can't deal with all this mess. I'm just going to go nuts. But God said, get your word. Get your word. Get your word. Hallelujah. People start using it. We were chosen to live by this word. If we don't use it, our expectations are going to be down here. And God's expectations are right here for each and every one of us. Hallelujah. The Bible says make your request known to him. Scream it out if you have to. God, help me. God, save my children. God, I need you. God, deliver me. Whatever it is. Speak the word. Hallelujah. Does anybody want to be chosen today? Because in order for us to fulfill this, we have to be chosen. Hallelujah. We want to please God. People, I'm here to tell you, church people, it's not enough coming to church. Well, I'm tithing. It's not enough tithing. Well, I'm a greeter. It's not enough greeting. I'm helping all of that is good, and we love you for it. But it's not enough. Read your word. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Amen. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. I'm just giving you some encouragement this morning. I'm not preaching. Hallelujah. Did you come to seek him today, or did you come to play church? I came to seek him. We are chosen to live by his word. The word of God, I'm going to probably preach again next week, chosen to live by the word. Because in John 1, it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God. If we have God's word today, I'm here to tell you people, we will be able to trust him. We will be able to trust him. 
See, the Bible also says man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. We can't preach the word if we're not chosen. You have to be chosen to preach this word. You have to be chosen to believe in this word and walk in this word. In order to trust God, you must have that faith to believe in the word. That's the first part of it. Every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, the word God gave us, his word and his Holy Spirit. We talked about a little bit in worship today. I said Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. A lot of people are afraid to say Holy Spirit. God gave us his Holy Spirit. Power. We shall have power. So people sometimes say, oh, I believe in the Trinity. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Say it out loud. Hallelujah. It's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And with these gifts, you will be able to trust in the Lord. You will be able to trust him. You will be able to give God the glory for what he's done in your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says here that the last verse that I'm going to use is in Matthew 16, 19. Let me go to that one because that's a good one. Hallelujah. God wants you to be people of the word. We want to be people of the word. We have to have faith. Hallelujah. Matthew 16, 19 says, go with me there. Hallelujah. 16, 19, and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The word. The word. If we have this word in us, anything that we do shall be loose. You see, he's already given us the keys. It's right here. He's already given us his word. It's time to be putting it in practice now. It's time to be trusting in him. It's time not to be weary. It's time not to be anxious, but speak the word of God. Hallelujah. He's already given us the keys. See, I didn't understand that when I, when I first got saved. And I spent like five years letting the devil bring back my past and bring back those low expectations. And I would have nightmares and, and I would keep coming up for prayer. And I said, God, I need to be delivered, delivered. But I was already delivered. He had already given me the keys of the kingdom. Hallelujah. But I had to not be anxious, not be weary. I was trusting him, but the devil, guess what? He has expectations for you, for each and every one of us. He's going to use your past to constantly bombard you and bring you down. Keep shooting the word back at him. Tell him, I have been given the keys of the kingdom. I trust the Lord. I will not be weary. I will not be anxious for nothing. Because God has already given me the keys. His word today is just that. To encourage you that we are chosen to live by the word. Amen. I'm going to say a quick prayer and we're going to end. Has anybody been encouraged today? Yes. Hallelujah. We've been encouraged. I want to pray with you. And I just, I, I just wrote down this little prayer because, like I said, last night God was speaking to me. And he said, I, I needed to be encouraged. When God gives you something to speak, he gives it to you because you need it. And then you are to share that. So God gave it to me, and he wants you to be encouraged today. Let me pray for you today. God, we want to be people of your word. We want to be people of faith. Help us today, Lord, to trust you in everything. Help us, God, not to be weary in well-doing. And Lord, we pray that anxiety be cast out in our lives for good. In Jesus' name, we thank you today that every request and unsettled issue and hurt is going to be cast out by your word, Lord. And we speak this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. He's already given you the keys. His word. We are chosen. 
We are chosen to live by his word. God bless you. We are dismissed.